A Texas congressman is sparking a social media firestorm tonight after a tweet comparing President Obama with Adolf Hitler. Randy Weber serves in District 14, which includes Jefferson County. KFDM News pressed the Republican congressman for a response to his tweet, and tonight he is apologizing. To learn more about what he is saying and why he made the comments, we go down to KFDM's Lauren Hewitt live in front of the congressman's office. Lauren? Greg, I spoke with Congressman Weber earlier today. He says he didn't intend to compare President Obama to Hitler, but was trying to start a conversation about what he calls the president's foreign policy shortcomings. Weber mentioned the, the president not attending the Paris Unity Rally after the terror attacks in Paris. Constituents I spoke with say he should have said it another way. Congressman Randy Weber tweeted this Monday night. Even Adolf Hitler thought it more important than Obama to get to Paris for all the wrong reasons. Obama couldn't do it for the right reasons. Twitter users quickly fired back, a few pointing out Adolf is misspelled. Many constituents in Weber's district say the tweet wasn't a good idea. You can, there's no comparison there, like really Adolf Hitler with uh, Obama. <laughs> Yo, very wrong. Very. Personally, I, I wouldn't compare yet again Hitler to Obama. Uh, I just think that's not appropriate. Part of what our country is, freedom of speech, and whether you agree with it or not, we have that liberty and that freedom. However, I don't agree that you should use Hitler's name in the same line as you do Obama. Uh, Randy Weber is allowed to tweet in his opinion, and if that was his opinion, how he thought, then it's fine. I spoke with Congressman Weber. He said it was not his intent to compare President Obama with Hitler. He says the tweet was meant to start a conversation about the president not attending the unity rally in Paris when more than 40 world leaders attended. Weber is on the House Foreign Affairs Committee and said the president should have gone to show solidarity and support. Weber said his question is, will the president admit that Islamic extremism is evil and we're at war with it? Some constituents say President Obama should have attended the unity march in Paris. Yes, he should have. If all the other leaders went, he should have at least went. Yeah, he should have probably went. But to say something like that in this, the tense environment that we're in right now, is it's just not a good thing. Congressman Weber removed the tweet Tuesday and tweeted out a link to his apology. There's another way to, to put things, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and that just right there was not. In Congressman Weber's official apology, he says, I need to first apologize to all those offended by my tweet. It was not my intention to trivialize the Holocaust, nor to compare the president to Adolf Hitler. The mention of Hitler was meant to represent the face of evil that still exists in the world today. I now realize that the use of Hitler invokes pain and emotional trauma for those affected by the atrocities of the Holocaust and victims of anti-Semitism and hate. To read Congressman Weber's full apology and statement, visit KFDM.com. Reporting live in Beaumont, Lauren Hewitt, KFDM 6 News. Now, we posted this story to our Facebook page and asked you, the viewer, what you thought about Randy Weber's tweet. This is what some of you had to say. One viewer writes, quote, a U.S. representative may not have to respect the man, but he most certainly should respect the office of the president. Another viewer says, quote, some things are true. As they say, the truth hurts. And this last one says, quote, President Obama is not perf perfect at all, but we've had worse. To read more comments or post one of your own, go to our KFDM Facebook page.